Taking so long, they'll be here any minute now. Patience, Martin. The seal is not what I expected. Look around you, Barbus. We're all that's left. I've had my fill of traps and seals. Be silent, or be silenced. Hmm. Barbus, Martin, there's nowhere left to run. Uh, Pandorus must have fallen. This is it. The words to break the seal. Be quick about it! Beloda Embarinda. Vexanra len filaha. Seal born of age old strife, you've served your duty well. In the name of the great father filaha, I release you. It's done. Hold them off! <laughs> 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 
Damn!
Behold the holy blade, Brynhilde. Deifacted gift of the heavens. By that name most sacred, hear my plea. Gate divine, earthly prison of accursed gods. Throw wide your doors. The great father commands it. Is that all? I had expected something more. Indeed. Martin, Barbus, no farther. Oh, persistent, aren't you? You seem bent on meddling in our plans. Lay down your weapons and... Save your breath, Denim. We both know that will never happen. You want to kill us. I see it in your eyes. Put down your words and take up your sword. The dead of Goliath and Rhyme deserve vengeance. It begins. What's happening? Dorgalua's legacy, you simpleton! What? You really don't know, do you? A man came to this place once, long ago. What man was this? A valiant warrior who used his strength and skill to possess all he desired. But there was one foe he could not conquer. Death. Misfortune took his beloved son, and soon after, his wife. In his despair, he prayed for their return. I need not tell you his prayers went unanswered. Overcome with wrath, he renounced his faith and sought instead the power of the Dark Gods. He descended into the hells where they make their fastness. I trust you know the legend of the Ogre Battle. The battle between men and Ogres in the Age of Myths? Yes. The struggle that decided who would rule this Earth. The Gods of Light sided with men, and the Dark Gods with the Ogres. For aeons, the war raged. What is it to us? Do you know how the legend ends? Men were victorious, and the ogres retreated to the darkness, a tale every child has heard at his mother's skirts. <laughs> what do you find so amusing? It is no nursery tale. What do you mean? These ruins are the very gate to hell. The Chaos Gate. What? The man who journeyed into the Abyss is your precious Dynast King, Dogalua. I think we've finally gotten the Gate's attention. The darkness awaits, and all the power it holds. I can't let you go. Of course you can't. Which is why you must die. You'll need no gate to enter hell.
Venture into the abyss to claim this power? If what you say is true, why is it King Dorgalua never returned? The gate was made to prevent darkness from entering our world. It's barred from this side. It cannot be opened from within. Dorgalua left his most trusted man to prepare for his return. But this gatekeeper was easily slain. With the king missing, it was a simple task to declare him dead and claim the throne. It's time you paid for what you did in Goliath. And you're going to collect? You're welcome to try. Don't waste your words on this one, Martin. He's only Denim's lapdog. Hear how he barks for his master. Maybe I am just a dog, but I'm here, standing before you. Are you man enough to face me? Or tear out your throat with my bare teeth? A rabid cur at that. All the better. We fight. <laughs> and flee with your lives. The traitor speaks, when she would do better to flee. When we lead you back to Lotus in chains, it will not go easy for you. It's you who've betrayed the Empire. I am come to restore Los Lorien, to turn it from the treacherous path Balsafon embarked upon. But you, you have eyes only for wealth and power. Aren't you forgetting something? It was the High Champion who sought to conceal Dorgalua's legacy. We seek only to claim the treasure of the Chaos Gate for the glory of Lodis. The lie falls easily from your lips, but I will not believe it. The Dark Knights ought never have allowed your filth to sully their ranks. It is your guilt speaks, woman. The name of House Glacius may curry favor back home, but it means nothing here. You should have stayed at home and married some rich old nobleman, if any would have you.
Zenobian sword Brynhilda to break the seal on the gate. Ah, Princess Vesali, you grace us with your presence. If you did not need me to break the seal, why go to such lengths to win me to your side? The High Champion must have known the sword was all we needed. He meant to use you to rule these pathetic isles. A waste, when Lodissian steel would serve. Small wonder Lord Tartarus would not keep counsel with you. You are too foolish to see his true purpose. Bloody fool!
so close. So very close. Oh. Gate! <laughs> Impossible! Still bind him. Rejoice ye all in my return. You are a fallen king, a creature of darkness. Your wife and son await upon death's shores. Genghis.
Gone. This is the world of men. You have no place here. Tis true. I am no man. I am a god. A god? What god could be so foul? You are an ogre.
Chaos Gate speaks! What power is this?
It's opening. We'll be pulled in.
This place will soon collapse. When it does, the Chaos Gate will cease to function. This is no place for you, Warren! Perhaps not, Denim. Farewell. Oh, great Zephyr, dance unseen. Fly across Heaven's Veil. Ha! What are you doing? In the name of the Great Father Philaha, you are hereby crowned our Sovereign Lord, Queen Vesalia Oberith, Defender of the Realm. Let no man gainsay this sanctified ascension. I will not ask you to forget all that has happened. No. We must remember why this war began, what we lost because of it, and what we achieved. We must tell this to our children, that we never forget. Kashua, you have a great task before you, sister. Why do you not heed me, brother? I know how you must feel. But what of my feelings? I don't want to lose you. Our father is dead. A hard truth. But a truth all the same. In all the world, you are the only one bound to me by blood. I couldn't bear to let you die. Forgive me. I... I know my words will not sway you. Only promise me. Promise you'll never leave your sister. I did not want to lose you, sister. Blood be damned, I will not lose you again! I'm sorry, Denim. How could I have been so selfish? Can you forgive me? That's behind us now. The important thing is that we'll never be apart again. Remember, but do not cling to the hatred. We must sever present from past. For our future, for our children. Repent for our past and dedicate ourselves to reform. Not only can we do this, we must. Let us build a future in Valeria, a future where we all live as one. A future of peace. Glory to Valeria! Thank you, Denim. Denim, I will miss you. I didn't expect the Barkram attack to come so soon. And you, the Duke's loyal, scarce equipped to march, let alone repel them. If the Bakram expect us to lie down for the trampling, they're in for a nasty turn. What? You have a plan? <laughs> no matter. I'll see soon enough. But there's little time. If you some miracle on hand to rally the resistance, best work it quickly. I will. When next we meet, it will be as enemies full-fledged, Vice. Stay whole till then. And you, Denim. 
until next time. But a man can repent. You did what you thought best. If I were a greater fool, I might have done the same. End this war, Denim. You owe the people of Balmamusa that much. Let that be your atonement. You... you have no right! No, sister. He has every right. Farewell, Denim. And you, Vice. Someday the gods may forgive you. But I haven't. There you are, Lord Bozak. Everyone awaits you below. Thank you. I'll be there shortly. May we meet again someday, Denim. I will not leave your side now. I understand how you must feel. You have done much. All that was required of you, and of your sisters as well. But your labors are done on the morn. Let me shoulder your burden. You can... You can do as you like for once. Live your own life, Olivia. Father... Do not be concerned on my account. All will be well. Go with him, Olivia. With him. Wait for me, Denim. I will be there soon. Father, I kept my promise. I saved her. Listen to me, Denim. You must save Kashua. You are the only one who can. You can lead her to her rightful destiny. Do this. For us. For the... <laughs> Father! No, it is not about you. Become a stone along the path to our salvation. You must look with clear eyes, Denim. Make the right choice. <coughs> Lead us along the true path. Make our way. Do this. Only this. You mustn't talk. You, you must rest. Denim. Forgive me. Father!
I leave the rest to you, sister. You'll do fine. You hardly need my help. Your coronation should be taking place in Heim about now. Monarch of Valeria in name and truth. Canopus has gone back home, taking Brynhilde with him. I owe you my thanks for a great many things, Denim. No, we would never have prevailed without your help, Canopus. <laughs> That's good to hear. And I'm sure Lancelot and Old Warren would be happy to hear it if they were still with us. <sighs> we don't know they're dead, Canopus. Don't you worry about it, Denim. It's not your fault they're gone. We came to this isle of our own will, you know. We were here on royal duty, after all. We were here to fight alongside you. But I should imagine you're right. They're out there, somewhere. Uh, tides right? High time we set sail. Farewell, Denim. I look forward to seeing you again one of these days. So long, Sprout. Our best to the Queen. But, Canopus, if Lancelot should return... I... It's all right, Denim. It's all right. Look, when things settle down here, you should come to Zenobia. We'll be waiting for you. Come, see the place Lancelot was born. The place he gave his life for. Promise me you'll come. I will. Ah, no looks from you now. Time to be a man, boy. Ah, that's right. Give a grin. Things aren't as bleak as they seem. <laughs> now, where have I heard that before? Hey, who was laughing when Martin planted you in the ground like a potato? Anyone ever tell you you'd look good on a skewer, bird legs? Anyone ever tell you you'd look good hanging off the bow, catching barnacles in your beard? <laughs> it's not just my sister. Many have gone their own ways since the war's end. Sisters made a trusted new friend. Ravnis, you step out for a bit of fresh air too? Canopus. Ah, I hear you're to be the new Castellan at Coritani. Quite an honor, and well deserved, I might add. Too much honor for a common knight, and with mixed blood besides. I feared it would invite trouble. But if I can set an example for others to follow, then I will bear it. Hmm. Always thinking of others, you. Kashua herself might even take heart. How many people will judge her for her blood, and not her deeds? Many and more, I'm sure. But I'll not compare my meager burden with Her Majesty's. Ah, she can handle it. She's grown, that one. The ground crumbled away beneath her when she learned she was not a Wallister. But she picked up the pieces and built herself anew as ruler of Valeria. I salute her. True. That girl. I mean, Her Majesty is strong. Would that I could leave my past self behind so readily. Valeria is lucky to have you and Kashua both. I will serve her and Valeria as best I can. Well and good, but you needn't be quite so dedicated. 
You like to wear yourself out. Always charging in at the head of the van. Besides... Besides what? Ah, well, a man likes to feel needed every now and again. Especially by a beautiful woman, such as yourself. I... You... You shouldn't make fun like that. <laughs> You've your whole life ahead of you. Stop and enjoy it, huh? There'll be plenty of time to make Valeria the kingdom it should be. Our queen and our people will make it so. I'm certain of it. Did you ever meet a pirate, father? A former pirate, at any rate. <laughs> Always figured I'd die on the battlefield, not in a bed. How long have you had this affliction? <sighs> Who can remember? You get to be my age, you stop caring. Afraid I'll have to miss the coronation, though. Just as well. A man like me would be a fish out of water at a do like that. You fought at our side to end this war. You have as much right to be there as anyone. Don't you worry about me. I'm just glad an old pirate whose only talent was killing had the chance to do one thing worth the doing. I took my fill of treasure, coin, and women. But it was never enough. The day I lost my girl, I shut out the world. It wasn't until this war I let myself be part of it again. And that's reward enough. And a great boon to us. You helped bring light back into the world. I don't have to be around to see it with my own eyes, to know it's true. I have only one concern. What's that? I don't think I'd rest proper on dry land. No need for a grave. Who would come and visit? When I'm gone, boy, I want you to bury me at sea. I'm glad to know there's still seawater in your veins. Don't worry. I'll do it. I promise. Thank you, Denim. He was a good man. You would have liked him. friend left Heim recently. You return to Kritani? Aye, with the lady here. We've heard that some of the Hierophant's men still hold out at the keep. The war's left its share of resentment on the land, and not just in Kritani. I would rather have no need at all of my sword, but it is true that peace often relies on weapons in the right hands. It's really my fault. Yunin is too much of a knight to stop me. We're sorry, Denim. I would have liked to remain in Heim too. Do not concern yourself about it, Oshion. I know enough to realize we will not be able to administer Valeria alone. We'll need help outside of Heim. Peace cannot travel from the towns to the countryside. It must grow in all places at once. I thank you for your aid, and may the chariot ride with you. Thank you, Denim.
Once things settle down, we intend to go to Vask. Arshion's village? What's done is done, but I thought to make an offering at least. Arshion may have forgiven me, but I have not forgiven myself. I see. Good health to you. Send word if ever you should need our aid. We will return to your side no matter how far we may roam. Farewell. Good health to you as well, Yunin. So you'll be returning to Lotus then? Lancelot and Balsafan escaped. I'll chase them to the ends of the earth, should it come to that. I know quite well the dangers of returning to Lotus, yet with such a partner, I am not concerned for our safety. We will sit back and wait until the time is right. But before we go... Uh, yes? I wanted to tell you how glad I was to meet you, to accomplish so much at your side. I couldn't have chosen a better ally. Mm. I had forgotten what it was to dream. I allowed revenge to consume my life. <sighs> my time with you changed all that. With our first victory, it was as though a blackness lifted from my heart. I'll never forget the joy I felt at that. Nor will I. Being reunited with Hobram, fighting at your side, it reminded me what it was to fight with purpose. Lodis should not be left to rot, but what Tartaros and his lot desire is rule, absolute rule. Once, I swore to follow Tartaros, but I see him now for the traitor he is. He must be hewn down if there is to be true revolution. My eyes are open, thanks to you. Our paths may not cross again, but remember this. One of the seeds you planted has found fertile soil in this swordsman. So long, Denon. Fortune favor you both. So it's true. You're leaving. Figured it was time. I'm not wanting for coin, eh? Sight! <laughs> In the war over, there's nothing for a mercenary to do. But watch his blade rust. Thought I'd see the continent. Probably won't ever make it back to Valeria. Abuna Maruva was lamenting the loss of the captain of the Heimgard. It's not a bad post. The pay is good, and the city could use a reliable man in charge until things settle down. Not another word. You've got the wrong man for the job, boy. Sure, it might be what the city needs. But I'm no spring goose. I can't stay in my line of work forever. Even still. Yes? I look at you young ones and, well, I start thinking maybe the world isn't ready to be thrown out with the night soil. Start thinking Maybe I ought to be lending you a hand. Ha! I say something funny? I admit, you're the last person I thought would go sentimental on me. Sentimental? Oh, I'll give you sentimental! Uh, joking, only joking. <sighs> be well, boy. You too, Zapan.
You're leaving with these children for Almorica, then? They were born of Wallace to parents. The war may be over, but many still harbor doubts about the other clans. I think it best that these orphans were somewhere other than Heim. <sighs> the people must put aside such foolish fears. And they will. You'll see to that, I've no doubt. But these changes can't happen overnight. The Great Father might leap from mountain to mountain, but we move one step at a time. Will the Great Father lift the scales from their eyes? No good hoping for miracles. They're an illusion, however sweet. The change we seek is born one day at a time. Any who can't be thankful for the days they have are unworthy of miracles. Take these children. The war claimed their parents, but not their future. They have hope. It's you who gave them that, Denim. I have no doubt the seed you've sown will bloom and bear fruit. I, for one, look forward to that day. As do I. Must be going, Father. There's a journey I must make before Lotus returns. I want to see Lancelot's homeland, the kingdom he gave his life for. Who goes there? Friends of the Resistance, and no friends of yours. The Resistance? I expected a warmer welcome than this. <laughs> They're children. Wait. Do you even know who we are? You're Lancelot. And that makes you my enemy. Uh, Lancelot is my name. True. How is it that you know me? It's been four, five years now, before the war with the Empire. They advanced, and we fled, vagrants in our own land. My wife fell ill, and before I knew it, she was gone. I considered following her into death. My thoughts often strayed down that path before battle, but her music box still sang of life, and I knew it was not my time. My burden had not yet reached its end. Uh, I'm sorry. One young as you should never be forced to fight. But that's not the world we live in. Don't worry over me, father. I'll be back.
to shore, it's going to shore. We sail for Lodis, 